morning, YouTubers. It's been a minute since I put a video up there. I know there's not very many people watching them, so don't feel it's that pressing to keep on putting them out. But I figured this morning I'd do a walk on my property in the other direction. I took one down towards the bridge. Now I'm gonna walk down to the other end of the power or other end of the uh, property. Let y'all get a look at this. Sorry about the sun. Can't see very well. There's some old logs that got cut up when we first got out on the property. Never got to really do nothing with them except for cultivate mushrooms off of them. Boy, they gave a lot of mushrooms, those logs, dude. Up there, that's where the, that good root is. Anybody who knows me, you know what I'm talking about. That good root. I'm gonna keep it steady, but I can't really see the sun is killing me. It'll start to go away once we get over here in the shade a little bit. So that's a big tree that was uh, um, down over this road for I guess years before I got here. It basically kept people from going down on this end of the property with the four wheelers and stuff. This holler right here, holy crap, boy. This holler right here, when it rains, that is like something you'd see in Letchworth State Park in New York or something, man. That just rips down there. That'd wash you right down that holler. Well, I do have sewer manhole covers and stuff as they go down the road, but you gotta take the good with the bad. I will take those manhole covers to have this road. I guess back in the 50s, they spent something like $3 million putting this dirt road in. As you can see, some spots were just like super thick. They had to put four or five foot of crushed stone in here and big aggregate before they could even start on the road. So I guess this whole area right here from the gas station up to, to the town, um, they, they invested something like $50 million developing all this back in the 50s. And from what the old man told me his father used to own this piece of property. Um, yeah, they spent $3 million putting this dirt road in. Now, I got to assume that a lot of that was probably paying your cousin and overbidded jobs and stuff like that. You know, the corruption that takes place and that kind of stuff. So we lost quite a few trees this year. Some of them were already dead standing, but we lost a big old white oak right there. And we lost a uh, red oak. And then one of them was even a black walnut that fell. Um, we got another one right here, another one right there. I'm down here with the excavator right now. Um, cutting all this stuff up flattening this all out this spot here had a big like two foot dip in it so i just dug that mountainside and pulled it in i still got to bring it up probably another foot or so because i don't want it to pool water on that side of the road i'd rather have it flow off the property so i got some dry spots to work in you can see i got dirt and pushing it all this way and filling in the low spot once i get this brush burned off or pushed off or whatever I'll keep on digging at that side of the mountain right there and bringing some dirt down to fill that out even better. Um, so we're going to do the same thing here. This morning I was 
pushing all those trees down there with the excavator and uh, just I'm not worrying about cutting them down I use the excavator and dig those little trees right out of the ground with them with the blade just kind of ram into them and then expose the roots and dig down enough to grab the root ball and pull it up so we won't have all that stuff growing back through the but that's probably about a from where I'm standing here on this grass to that that's going to need about three foot of fill so I'm going to come in here I'm going to take that uh, what is that that's a sugar gum I'm going to take this black walnut I'm going to take that sugar gum that white oak and then after I got this all cleared out and ready for the mill I'm going to go up onto that mountain up there and I'm going to start dropping all the big dangerous trees like that big white oak right there. That is a huge tree. I mean, you don't look like it from here, but that is a big tree. Big tree. So we got some big trees up there. If that comes over, that's going to bring down a whole bunch of trees in its path. Like that one red oak over there that came down, that brought down five different trees with it. So kind of crucial i feel a lot of these bigger trees have basically for how they grasp into the ground they've basically reached their life expectancy i mean if they're going to keep on falling over like that i might as well just cut them out so i know that's that's coming down off the top of the mountain repelling with a rope and a harness to make sure you're safe because I know that little cliff right there don't look very high man but that'd be like falling easily 50 feet and I'm not I'm not made of rubber anymore I'm getting older so I will tie off to a higher tree rappel down chop that thing so it will basically fall down the mountain at me down to the lower spot. Well, not at me, because I'm going to be tied up up there, but at my spot. Hopefully, I can actually get that thing to launch off of the stump and just come right down the cliff and land down here in the, the flat. But that's a lot of white oak, red oak, good trees. We had this one come down. This winter, it came down. Um, uh, it wasn't down when I went to Thomas's last time, but when I came back in November, it was down. And seeing how it had already lost all its leaves, I'm feeling that that was after, after the fall shed of its leaves when the tree fell. If it had fell when it was still holding on to its leaves good, they'd still be on the tree. So there's another holly. You can't even understand what it's like to climb that thing. Woo! I'm telling you. There we go. I'm telling you, you can't even understand what it's like to climb up in there. Whew. Insane holler to climb. So then we keep on coming down this way. And then we go past... Uh... Between this big tree right here and that big tree right there is my property line on a 45 degree angle up the mountain. Yep. There's the creek. Creek's nice and clean right now. Water probably warmer than the air temperature if I had to gamble. But I'm not jumping in there right now. I've done that a few times in the past. I'm not. No creek baths in the winter. <laughs> sure. We ain't swimming. We ain't nothing in that thing right now. I don't even like fishing in the winter either. I'd rather fish in the spring. This right here is where I'm going to cut a uh, little roadway because that's bedrock underneath that gravel right there and I'll be able to 
drive my excavator and my tractor or whatever right across the creek right here and be able to get over into that area right there and um, be able to get some stuff cut down cleared out that's a nice little you know during this you only have to worry about the flash floods in the spring so that's a great little spot to be doing some camping some gardening some fruit trees berry bushes anything like that I'll have to probably bring my soil in, but as you can see, I have beautiful black soil, brown soil, whatever you want to call it. I'd call it even past brown. I'm talking hundreds of years of leaves composting down. Oh, this place will go crazy once I get done flattening it all out, so I'll have to get some, some seed down on it, because I'd rather have grass growing than weeds. Um... So we're about to fire the chainsaw up right there, cut this old dead log up, get that out of the way, pull all the rest of those trees off that edge and start pulling dirt down off the side of that hill to fill in that low spot. Because if nothing else, I, I'll build another cabin right here. I'll build something, I'll build it up on stilts. If I gotta worry about two foot of water coming up onto this road right here in this area, I'll go get some old recycled telephone poles and bury them down in there and I'll build up I'll build it up on stilts oh got something running through the woods you hear that something running maybe it's a squirrel flying tree rat flying tree rat you're gonna get shot I messed my cabin up there wasn't no Rodents, there wasn't no rats, no mice that were messing my cabin up. It was flying tree squirrels. Chewed up all the cords on everything I own. Ooh, that's war. It's war. I ain't even playing. And here's a good look at my swimming hole. I know it. You can kind of see the bottom on it, but in the summer, the water will be significantly lower and much cleaner, clearer, I should say, clearer. Because right now, it's clean. I'll go drink that water. I don't care. I'd, I'd rather drink that water than tap water. At least I ain't getting all that fluorides and chlorines and all that other crap that they want to try to poison people with. You know, people who's drinking water out of creeks for millions of years man thousands of years maybe who knows i don't know whatever you can see all the little fish maybe in there right now i think i'm gonna throw them dog food yep because i feed my fish because i want them to stick around i like them and if i ever had to i'd eat them so that's where i'm at today trying to uh, knock down as much of this tall grass and clear this up as much as I possibly can. Flatten it out as much as I possibly can. The reason why I want to knock down all the tall grass is because right now it's like seed tick season. I saw one on me the other day. So now I'm spraying myself down with off. And don't want none of them tick bites. I already got the Lyme, Lyme disease once. Don't want it again. May still, may already have it still to this day. Who knows? But for anybody who has had Lyme disease, don't go getting that vaccine shot now. You better do your research. They say if you've had Lyme disease or you have Lyme disease, do not get that vaccine. I don't even want to get going on that. Boy, I'll rant and rave for hours. If y'all want to watch a really, really, really good video, I don't care if you like the man who made it or not. Facts don't have feelings. Um, it's called Crimes and Cover-Ups. It's on YouTube, on the station Blaze. You want to know exactly how COVID came about? You want to know exactly how... It was manipulated and how people are massively profiting off of it. Watch that video.
Because it ain't about red or blue. It's about right and wrong. It's about good versus evil. Are you a good person or are you a bad person? Because obviously the man running things right now is a bad person. There was no reason for shutting down no pipelines and making Americans have to pay more and all this nonsense. That's just because they be getting richer. That's why that man this year made, the last year made $31 million. $31 million in his first year of presidency or whatever, something close to that. I'm not even exactly sure. But that's what the what that's what they're saying. Thirty-one million dollars last year. That might be, be between him and Hunter and whatever, because you, you know their money's all mixed up and tied together. Who knows how many damn yen he made? What's his bank account in China look like? You see, that's nice over there. I like that area over there. So if I can get a little kind of road over into that area i really really like that area i clean all that up get rid of all them trees not only that that whole island right there is made out of gravel and creek stone and sand so i'll have plenty of resources as far as to build with by even just making my swimming hole 10 feet wider digging out on that gravel bar over there um as long as I don't obstruct the flow or change the flow, I'm legal to dig in the creek or carve the banks back or whatever a little bit. I just can't obstruct or divert the flow. But I have water rights, so I can take as much water out of there as I want for irrigation, for my own personal uses. Um, got to cut that tree out of the way that thing used to sit a lot higher but it kind of bowed down and the root ball has gotten eaten up by all the rainwater, so it's dropped the one end down as you can see it's now holding debris which is digging out a nice little hole right there love my creek unfortunately i feel in the next 20 years Fresh drinking water is going to be a major issue. I mean, it already is a major issue. Only one out of nine people on this planet have access accessibility to fresh drinking water. That was one of the main reasons why I bought this property. I know that road, that's not very attractive or appealing to see them cars. And oh, well, you went out into the wild, but you got a highway next to you. But I got all the water I can drink. I can run that through a Brita. I can run it through a Life Straw if I was worried about anything like that. And I don't have to worry about water. I feel that's going to be a major, major issue here in the next few years. You got a man out in Texas who sold $65 billion worth of water claim the water rights not only did he claim the water rights on his property but any property within a 50 mile radius of his well has to now buy water from him now crazy things man you hear about land barons and stuff like that but you don't ever hear about the water baron you don't ever hear about the guy who monopolizes the water and there's plenty of them out there all right, enough ranting and raving. That was to walk back and forth. Y'all have a good day. I'm going down to run that excavator. To all those people who have subscribed and like and comment, I appreciate it. It's encouragement. Um, yeah, a lot of flood damage down there. You can see all that debris. That water was right two feet up onto this road. But, uh, man, if you're not already getting prepared for what might be coming, please start. Love y'all. Leave a comment, man. I don't care if you share. I ain't trying to become screw tube famous. I only do this for my friends and family and anybody who might even give a shit. So, love y'all.